Hi, welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin. Recently, I've had requests for people wanting me to show how to do basic mending and basic sewing as in how to make clothing. Now, I am much better at creative sewing. I'm very good at making quilts, pillows, doll clothes, uh, Christmas ornaments, crafty items, anything that involves creativity. I'm not so great at making clothing, although I can make clothing if it's something that's not very difficult. But what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to take in a dress. I have these two beautiful dresses, okay? And look at the detail on this, it's very pretty. It's a, of all places, I bought this off at Timu, and it's about a $12 dress. And I thought, well, I don't know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it a try. It's actually a very thick polyester. You do not need a slip, because it's very, very thick. Um, it is not clingy. It fits just in the bust and at the waist. So it doesn't, you know, um, cling to all your bumps, bumps and lumps and bulges that you don't want seen. I'm trying to hang this back up. Okay, but the problem I have is I am much larger on top than I am on bottom. I am probably a large to extra large on top and I wear a medium bottom. So when I put this dress on, it fit beautiful in the bust line, but in the waist, it sticks out huge and it makes me look like I'm pregnant, honestly. And of course, that's not the look I'm going for at 53. So I've decided that I need to take this in. So I'm gonna show you a cheater's method to do that. Let me take it off the hanger here. You're going to take the dress and flip it inside out. Just as if you're going to wash it inside out. All right. Take the side seams. Let me find them first. Let me make sure that is it. Okay, here's the belt loop. I don't want to sew the belt loop in. All right, so I found the stitching. Here's the stitching to the belt loop. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, I'm going to go right underneath that. And you want all the fabric to line up on the side seam, okay? So now let me go pin this. Because it is slicky. It slides around, and, which means that it's going to be prone to error if you don't pin it. There was some kind of cartoon when I was a kid. I don't remember what it was called, I, but there was a hippo on there named Henrietta Hippo. And of course she was rather large and she wore this little tutu skirt. That is the effect this dress has. When I put it on, I feel like Henrietta Hippo. Okay, not, not what we're going for. Okay, pardon me, I'm going to blow my nose. It is definitely allergy season here in Southern Illinois. Okay, I have my machine already threaded with black polyester thread. I'm going to now start underneath the belt loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch seam down from the original seam, just to bring it in and make it smaller. my foot pedals way over here. I just tidied up in here a little bit today so things are kind of out of sort, out of sorts for me. Okay, we need a straight stitch and I've got it on a number two stitch length. I've heard of people taking dresses apart and sewing them back together. My goodness, we don't have to do that on every single project. I just need the skirt smaller because the top fits and the belt is lovely. The belt has a real nice, generous sash.
Okay, and I sewed all the way through the hemline, all right? Just a quarter of an inch down below the last stitching. I'm going to take my pins out. You saw me back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, now let's go on the other side and do the same thing. I'm starting and stopping right below the belt loop because I don't want to sew the belt loop in the hand, in the inseam. Okay, so now let me go up the other side. Okay, so again, we're going right Well, I'm going to sewing a quarter of an inch underneath the last seam allowance. Okay, now you have a couple options here. You can take your pinking shears and go ahead and cut off this excess seam. I think I'm just gonna leave it unless I try it on and it feels weird. If it feels too bulky, then I'll cut it off. But it's been nicely surged when it was made, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at this point. So now let me take the pins out. Now we're gonna flip this dress right side out. Let me bring my camera up. Okay, hopefully you can tell that it doesn't billow out so far on the bottom now. It has more of a straight edge. You can continue to do this. You can make three, four, five, six rows inside the seam allowance if you need to, to take it in as far as necessary so that you don't have that billowing effect that makes you look bigger than you actually are. As long as it fits on the top, that's what you want. So I hope you learned something from my video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll have more in the future. Thank you.